Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Sorry if I sound a little bit stuffed up, but I'm just getting over a cold. Now, today's story is coming from techpowerup.com, and like usual, I will leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. Now, AMD patents variable rate shading technique for console and VR performance. Now, we all know that next generation is just around the corner. All reports point to a 2020 launch for both the PlayStation 5 and next generation of Xbox devices. So, of course, leading up to that release date, we're going to get a lot of leaks and a lot of patents being filed by these companies. Now, I have to say, this is a very good thing, and hopefully, it will make it into Navi as it will help performance on the next generation consoles and give us that 4K 60 frames per second that we so desire. Now, the article goes on to say that this is not new, that NVIDIA's Turing implementation for available rate shading, this performance enhancing technique works in two ways motion adaptive shading and contact adaptive shading now motion adaptive shading basically takes input from previous frames in order to calculate which pixels are moving fast across the screen such as a racing perspective fast flying detail doesn't stay focused in our vision so much that we can discern a relative loss in shading detail while stationary objects such as a focused hypercar you're driving are rendered in all their glory valuable compute time can be gained by rendering a coarse approximation of the pixels that should be in that place and upscaling them as needed according to the relative speed they're moving across the frame content adaptive shading on the other hand analyzes detail across a scene and by reducing shading work to be done across colors and details that hasn't had much movement in the previous frame or frames and this saves frame time now i gotta be honest with you guys of course the console is very close to the metal so we're gonna get better performance on a console anyways but with this implementation you can also get much better performance as well helping us get closer to that 4k 60 frames per second target and i have to say next generation has to deliver 60 frames per second now of course we want 4k resolution but always frames trump resolution if you can't get a game up to 4k 60 frames per second at least give us a 60 frames per second option now of course we have a lot of leaks and a lot of reports of what these next generation consoles are going to have inside of them and i've done reports on my channel as well now everything's saying basically that they're going to have a ryzen processor paired up with a navi gpu now the implementation of this variable rate shading technique i think obviously will make it to navi that's why they're doing a patent on it right now now there's another interesting thing that i saw in this article here and then more pertains to the Xbox One X owners and the performance that they're really getting out of that system. Now they go on to talk about consoles saying that of course it's close to the metal and that the Xbox One X is currently rendering full 4K games with a GPU that's much closer to an RX 580 in performance than that of an RTX 2070, a graphics card that can't run Anthem at the same 4K medium settings that the Xbox console can. Now once again I have to tell you guys out there that the best place to play multiplats is definitely definitely the Xbox One X. Of course, the Xbox brand is getting hammered right now for its lack of exclusives, and hopefully Microsoft can address this when the next generation starts. But it cannot be denied, the Xbox One X is a fantastic 4K machine. Unfortunately, you're locked at 30 frames per second, but once again, you are getting a native 4K resolution, and the price of the Xbox One X is much cheaper than a standalone PC. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about the variable rate shape technique and if you think it's very important that the next generation consoles have it please leave your comments down below and like i usually say please like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on the next one